my name's Overboost MPH, and this is Engine Simulator. So, something really cool about this is that it mimics an engine to a T. Um, so, the intake and exhaust, the air circulating through the valves, past the valves and into the cylinder, is simulated as as if it was a real engine so the air you know compresses there's a, there's an ignition that actually forces the piston back down um things like that with this and it is just it is just a simulation um i've got a few engines to try out i've actually got here i've got an audi bmw boxer i've got flats inlines i've got radials it's not a radial but oh well we got some v engines and we've got some a y engine so we're just going to try some of them out today um, and just show you what they sound like. So this is the latest update, version 10, because it was version 9 point something. I believe this is the latest version, yeah, 1.10. So the latest, 1.10a. So this is the latest version. So I'm going to let you have a little listen and see what you think. So you've got to press A to put an ignition on, and then S is the start. As you can see on the right hand side, ignition firing order, if I go in slow-mo, you can see the firing order, which is awesome. So it's one, so is it one, two, four, five, three, one, two, four, five, three, one, two, four, five, three, one, two, four, five, three is the firing order on this engine. I'm going to rev it up for you, it's an Audi inline five engine. You see my throttle body, you can see the throttle plate opening and closing as I open it. So there is a few things you can actually do with this. I've learned, I've done a few times, but I've learned how to um, change some of the code, not some of the code, but some of the text in the readme files, so I can change the lobe uh, depth and everything like that on the cams, and it so makes it sound really cool, it makes it sound slightly different. So I did do that, so that can happen in the next video or something like that. But this one is just going to be showing you what this is like. This is awesome. It's lovely. It just sounds good. Right. So while that's running in the background, I'm going to... Now actually I'll turn it off. And I'll turn it back over again just one more time. And finished. So, here we've got a few things that we want to do. So, to be able to change an engine, you've got to have these files loaded up. So, the top left is the game itself. So, you don't have to have that loaded up, but it I, it's easier just to have that loaded so you don't have to keep going back and redoing it. Uh, the bottom left is the main MR, which is what you have to change some of the text in there to be able to load the engines, which are now shown on the right hand side. So we're going to go for a. Sh let's go for an inner line, actually. I was going to go for a Chevy, but. Chevy. Um, let's go for. And in line four, two. I don't know what the difference is between one and two, but we'll do. So what you do is you open this up, uh, and you look for something called a public node, and then engine engine. So we need to look. So scroll down, and there it is, right here. So public node X plane. This one's called. And then there's engine engine. You got your start and talk, and this is what you need. So you need to go to the X, copy that. And go over to your main, which will be in assets, and then main MR, which is uh, what you need to open up. And that is this file down here. Then in set engine, you want to copy that uh, engine engine file into the, into the box below. And then you need to open its files. You've got to tell it where to open it from. 
So where it says import engine LD i5, uh, you just want to go to, so where's this? This is inline. So this is engine, engine, then inline, inline, and then inline, and then what's it say? It's four to one, or four to two, sorry. Just save that. Uh, open bin, and let's start the game. And here, as you can see, we've now got an R1 engine, so a motorbike engine, which is nice. So, hopefully, some of these work. Since the update, I've noticed some of them don't work. So, let's just see what this does. <laughs> That's a firing order. One, four, two, three. One, four, two, three. Let's rip this up. There's also a dyno mode, so if you press D, it doesn't stall. <laughs> right, let's see how much horsepower it's making. Bottom left hand side. Here we go. It's also gearing, so if you hold down shift, you can put the clutch down and change gear. You can actually, as if you're driving a car or something, you can change gear. But this is a lot slower, but you'll actually hear the engine braking, which is awesome. Okay. There you go. And uh, that's slow-mo. A thousand times slower, so this is a thousand times slower. then because I nearly stalled it out. Is this the R1 engine? So let's do... let's have the one to, uh, 4 to 1. So just look for, once again, look for engine engine and HDT. Just copy that place that into the X plan uh, and then just change the two to a one because that's all we've changed here and load it up and you'll have your what have we got so we've got a fat plane
one, three, four, two. One, three, four, two is the firing order on this one. How much horsepower is this making? Awesome torque curve. Drops off terribly at the end. We're at 127 brake horsepower. Yay! V4 war one. Here we go. What? Here we go. Oh, this one doesn't idle? There must be, there can't be enough uh, ignition timing or something. Yeah, so one and four aren't sparking properly, but two and three are fine. So that's why we're not idling properly. That's full throttle. Got it out to idle by just adjusting the throttle. If you hold down space and then scroll up and down on your mouse wheel, you can adjust the throttle. Sounds good. 14, 1500 RPM. Could go a bit lower if it's stall out. She's out. And here we go, we've got a BMW M fifty two B twenty eight. Here we go. Let's fire up. Let's try the boxer engine. I don't think this is gonna work because a lot of the engine, a lot of the other engines don't work. But I'll give this a go. Yes, perfect. Well, I suppose we can find out what this sounds like. I don't know if it's gonna sound too good. I don't think it sounds like the other boxer engine, but we'll try it. It's debatable, and I'll tell you why. Because that firing order, I don't think is what they do in real life. One, three, two, four. One, three, two, four. Mm. Or it could be one, five, four. One, one, four, two, th th three. Blah, blah, blah. Right, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Oh, that sounds alright.
that sounds amazing. I'm guessing you're going to want to see the radio, and it's not a radio. <laughs> well, it wasn't in the previous version anyway, so engine, engine, and it's an SI1. Yes, it's, yes, a one-cylinder. Doesn't sound like one, that's for sure. Doesn't sound like a radio. I think they're supposed to say it's supposed to sound like a, a Mazda engine. Ah, oh, a, a rotary, but I don't know. Here we go. Two stroke? No, it's not. It's a it's a one. It's a four stroke. So that's good. I thought that was a two stroke for a moment, really. Don't know why. And last but not least, let's do the Audi once more. Because I think the Audi sounds the best. This is an original developer engine. This isn't a mod. So this is why this sounds awesome. Um, I5. Load. And let's just start this up one more time. Nice deep throbbing noise, it's awesome. Sounds gorgeous. What's it sound like with actual load on it? I think I can't remember if I did the load or not. of exactly what goes on. Um, I don't think the developer is actually continuing to make this game anymore. Um, he's looking at doing something else but on the same idea. Um, I think something that's a little bit less confusing for some people maybe um, and a little bit more user friendly definitely when it comes to changing the engines and stuff like that. I will double check but I will put a link in the description uh, of the game. I will also put a link in the description of the mods uh, if I can find it. If I can't, I do apologise. If you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll speak to you in the next video.